What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today, we're going over BB Can 11, episode number 17. This was the eviction episode where it was John and Hope up for nominations. Uh, which one will be evicted? Uh, well, let's find out. Uh, it, we started off with kind of the fallout of John going up on the block. Everyone was very sad and very upset that uh, Nene used the veto on Renee to send Jonathan up onto the block. Uh, Anika was like, this is all Nene's fault. And I'm so confused on why she would use that. And it's like, it, wait, what do you mean you're confused on why she would use that? Why wouldn't she save her best friend in the game? That's like saying if Anika, you had the veto, she would be confused that you used it on Daniel or Kuzi. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense on why they are so upset about this other than the fact that they're losing someone who's an ally. And I've got to be honest, it feels a little hypocritical because later on in the episode, we'll get to it, but Anika's talking about how she doesn't like being told what to do but she was literally trying to tell Nene what to do. I just mind blowing how upset they all were uh, with Nene for for using that veto. Uh, Renee can kind of see what's going on. She's kind of putting the pieces together that like, OK, there's got to be a reason they're this upset. They must have all been kind of working together. Uh, and be just really against us here. Uh, and then we also saw just with all the tension that was going on, Santina was kind of picking fights with the other girls. <laughs> you, you're rude. No, you're rude. <laughs> I, I'm kind of all in on Santina. Just let her go pick fights with people. I, I love it. Uh, and then we did also see uh, John telling Ty, like, hey, don't apologize. It is what it is. It's fine. Because Ty was trying to say, like, he's sorry for having to put him up without giving him a chance to fight. Um, the next really interesting thing that we got to see was Daniel getting up very early in the morning uh, and going down to search uh, the library books uh, just to see what he can find in that room. Uh, he ends up finding nothing, <laughs> but he does find something in the book that kind of points to the fireplace. He like gets down there. He moves the grill away. He's like holding things up to different things, trying to make things happen, but nothing comes to it. I assume something will be coming of it soon. We do know that this upcoming Tuesday is the fatal feast, but I don't know if that is going to relate uh, to the the library uh, uh, mystery that's going on or or not. But uh, we'll talk about that uh, in a bit. Uh, after that, uh, we ended up getting uh, Kuzi and Anika kind of talking about like, you know, what they think the right thing to do is here. Do they keep Jonathan, who's very loyal and 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 they know they can kind of trust in? Or do they keep Hope, who's a much better weapon, probably somebody they're going to need to beat Ty in some of these physical competitions going forward, uh, even though he's not as trustworthy. Uh, and there's definitely tensions within the crown. We saw Hope uh, and them kind of getting up in the morning. And Hope, Hope was very calm, right? Hope is like, hey, uh, you know, just a thought. Do you think, do you think that, he would turn on us and go with Claudia and go against the crown. And then he's like, how dare you say that? And <laughs> Goosey like walks out on him saying he's being all aggressive. The guy's just asking a question. Like he's just throwing out hypotheticals. Like if it's not safe to do that with your alliance, when you're alone, like when is it ever worth <laughs> and, and right to say that I just thought it was a huge overreaction that hope didn't kind of deserve uh, to be treated that way. Uh, but yeah, that was that was wild in itself. Uh, we also got another kind of awkward conversation with Ty and Claudia. Uh, basically, it was her telling him to kick rocks uh, and that she's kind of done with them. She doesn't like how he's been treating her, makes her feel kind of uh, less than in the game and that her uh, game moves aren't as, import as important than his game moves and his game is more imp important than hers. Uh, and I feel really bad for her because she, she's right. Ty just kind of dismisses her on everything. And it's just such a weird uh, dynamic for a showmance where they just really don't actually talk game. They never get into specifics uh, for what they're thinking game wise. It's always just very vague. Uh, so yeah, it's probably the weirdest showmance we've ever seen uh, in the house. And then we also did get 
uh, the girls meeting, which we saw on the dailies, which was them kind of coming together, talking about how Ty is kind of, you know, telling them different things and it's making them kind of go against each other. And there was this uh, maybe an attempt to kind of come together. But then we saw on the dailies that happened uh, yesterday, just before the episode, uh, we saw how that all kind of broke down uh, fairly quickly uh, and it ended up being a four to three vote for Jonathan uh, to be evicted. Santina was that swing vote. Uh, but she ended up voting for Jonathan to leave. And I, I think with Santina, her big sticking point was, one, she didn't really trust either side, but she trusted Kuzi, Anika, and Daniel a little bit more than the girly pops. Uh, and then along with that, she wasn't 100% jor- uh, sure if Jonathan was fully committed in in playing this game as hard as he needed to going forward. Uh, with one, just how nice of a person he is, but also it seems like there's more to it, right? Like, it seems like maybe Jonathan hasn't been fully invested in this game uh, more than what we've seen on the episodes and the dailies, and I think they were kind of hiding a little bit something from us because there's no other reason why Santina would not feel like Jonathan wouldn't be in this for the long haul when he's been her most trusted ally. The only thing that's giving her pause is that hey, she doesn't trust that Jonathan will be there for the long the long game when she has to go out on on a limb there and go with the girls which she doesn't necessarily trust as much as the shady bunch. Uh but uh after Jonathan uh was evicted, we get the full HOH competition one of the first times this season we saw uh HOH fully play out and it was knockout. So uh it was based on uh the Circle K room and different questions uh, based around there, we started with Anika and Claudia as the first two up, kind of randomly drawn. Uh, and uh, it ends up being Claudia who gets that question right. She picks Santina and Hope uh, to kind of go up next. Hope gets that one right, which he then picks Renee and Claudia. Claudia moves on from that matchup. She picks Hope and Koozie, uh, which then uh, Hope gets wrong, which means that Koozie stays up. Uh, and then gets to pick, uh, which she ended up going for Nene and Claudia. Uh, Nene gets it wrong, which means that Cl- uh, Claudia moves on, which left only Kuzi and Daniel uh, to go up uh, for the question. Uh, and Daniel 100% through this. Like, he buzzed before uh, uh, Arissa even finished the question. Uh, and uh, he he got it wrong, uh, which left it being Kuzi and Claudia as the final two. Kuzi gets it right. She wins HOH. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how this goes because I don't think she's going to be nominating people this week. We were told that the fatal feast will be happening on Tuesday and someone will not survive this fatal feast. Someone will be going to jury, I assume. Uh, so what? how will this work? Um, I have a feeling that the fatal feast will be something similar to the chain of safety that we saw last season where Koozie being the HOH will then get to choose who she passes safety on to next. Uh, who she would end up choosing? Probably Anika or Daniel. Wild card, she chooses Ty. Uh, but she probably chooses, you know, uh, Anika or Daniel. Anika or Daniel would choose the other of those two. They would then probably choose Hope who would then choose Ty. Ty would then probably choose Claudia. Claudia would then have the choice of either Renee or Nene. I think she would go with Nene, uh, which would then would mean that Renee would leave. So it's really kind of very predictable on what would happen uh, with this. If that's the way it goes, we we don't know for sure uh, what the Fatal Feast will be. But let me know what you guys think. What will what do you think the Fatal Feast uh, twist will be? We We literally don't know anything about it. Will the library be uh, involved in that? Will the the mystery of that be revealed with this as well? Or is this the, its own twist uh, that is all to be seen uh, on Tuesday's episode? This also probably means we won't get that many digital dailies this week. Uh, I would imagine maybe we get one from uh, last night. Uh, that we'll get today uh, as uh, you know, you guys are watching this. There will probably be a daily that will get posted fairly shortly after this video gets posted. So I'll have a, a, a recap for that if that comes up. But I would imagine if it's Tuesday's episode, they're going to want some time to 
uh, edit all that down. So it's probably going to take place on either Sunday or Monday, uh, maybe even on Saturday. And we probably won't get uh, many dailies this week. So uh, keep an eye out on the channel. If there are dailies, I will definitely recap them. Uh, but we'll see how that all goes. Uh, yeah. What did you guys think of the episode? Let me know in those comments down below. Also, uh, let me know what you think the Fatal Feast is going to be. Were you upset to see Jonathan go? Are you happy that Koozie won? I'll be honest. As much as I like Koozie, I don't think she's necessarily playing the best game. I don't think she should have tried to win this HOH. It was very smart from Daniel to throw it because he doesn't have to show his cards. Uh, but also, I... Don't think Koozie's the most entertaining person to have won this week. I think it would have been more fun if, if say, Claudia would have won because it would have shaken things up more. I'm a big fan of things being shaken up uh, and the status quo not being followed. Because, like I said, if the Fatal Feast is something like the Chain of Safety, it's very predictable. But if that Chain of Safety was starting with Claudia, things get a little bit more interesting, right? Because then... Well, Renee gets saved and uh, Nene both get saved because she picks one of them and then the other picks the other. Where do they go from there? They pick Daniel. Does Daniel then pick Koozie or Anika? Koozie or Anika probably pick uh, each other, whoever gets picked there. Then the real interesting thing is if he picks Anika and then Anika picks Koozie, does Koozie pick Hope or does she pick Ty? And I'll tell you, I think she might pick Ty. Just saying, I think she might keep Ty around. Because if I were Koozie, I would want Ty around. Ty is your shield in this game. As long as Ty is in there, you are safe. As soon as Ty is gone, Koozie is the biggest target in that house. But minus maybe Hope. Hope might be a, a little bit of a target uh, up there as well. But I still think people are going to look at Koozie as someone who is more likely to win this game and somebody that you would want to get out uh, sooner than later. Even Daniel and Anika both realize that they have to get rid of Koozie at some point. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in those comments down below. Also, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Check out the links to all of my socials in the description uh, and the pinned comment down below. You can check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, uh, the new Kickstream. Go check that out as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.